Hello my friends and welcome back to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. As always I'm your hunting guide Jeff. Today of course I'm down by the river. I'm going to do some trilobite hunting. Uh, dress kind of warm because we got a really cold cold snap setting in. It's uh, the 19th of December here in St. Louis area and uh, I got a couple more hunts I can do before January so I better get them in. Anyhow I'll see you up on the hill. Hopefully we find some trilobites. Alright so we're going to be checking out the area where I brought Charlie and Liz, the adventure closet. Didn't have my camera with me that day, but uh, if you watch their video, Charlie found a really, really nice trilobite. So I'm gonna walk over in this area and check it out. The other nice thing in this area is I don't have much big rocks that can fall on my head. So you can see there where it's starting to crack. Let me zoom in on that. See that big crack there? This time of year, that is not safe. Water gets in there, it expands and shrinks, and expands and contracts, and it'll push that off. Well, that whole thing like that could happen all along that bluff face. So you don't want to be too close to the bluff face in the winter time or the early spring. So I'm going to be looking through this scree pile here of rock that has fallen, and uh, let's see if we can find anything. All right, you guys, so this is how I go about finding trilobites. I find a big rock, like I did here, and um, I just beat on it, because it's pretty much how it works here. If you can't see them in the rock, you gotta beat on it. But anyhow, I smacked on this rock, and look right there. Got myself a nice little trilobite. I'm gonna pop that out of the rock, and uh, I'm gonna check the rest of this rock and see if there's any more. And uh, I'll turn the camera back on in a second, show you once I get it chipped out. The bad thing about this one here is uh, this rock is very, very well weathered. It's sat out for a long time up on the surface. But uh, anywho, let me get this out. Let me show you what it looks like. I might have another one in there right there. I'm not sure. I'll see you in a second. All right, I'm back. For me, it was about two minutes. For you guys, it's just two seconds. But here we are. It's not a bad looking trilobite. I'm going to uh, I'm going to do the rest at home. Clean it out because, uh, <coughs> excuse me, getting over a cold. Because <coughs> that, that limestone dolomite mix there is very fragile and I do not want to hurt the trilobite. But you can see the little bitty eyes and all that good stuff. So throw it in the bag. I'm going to do some more looking. I'm in a place I haven't been before. It's uh, up a little higher. I'm gonna look around and uh, see what we can find. I'd love to get over there, but that's private property way over there. So here is where I will hunt today. And this is why you continue to chip on a rock that you found. Holy cow, you guys. This is the same rock where I just pulled the other one out. Gave it like two smacks after I turned off the camera and this popped free. Look at that beauty right there. Oh, magnificent. I love trilobites. Okay, I'm gonna keep hitting on this rock. I'm gonna turn off the camera so another one pops up and just, you know, I look silly, but uh, you can even see its imprint. Oop, let me get that in camera. See its imprint right through there. Outstanding. There's another one. There's another imprint of one right there, which means there's probably someone somewhere in this uh, muss of mess I made. This is awesome. Okay, turn off the camera. Gonna find these. I'll be back. All right, you guys, I decided to stay working in the same area. Now, uh, this rock here, I've already busted it open, so I know what's in it, but I uh, figured what the heck, there's trilobites around the area. So I gave this rock a smack. Now, it doesn't have a trilobite in it though. But what it does have is a beautiful line of calcite right there and uh, right there. So I'm going to work on this rock a little bit. I'm going to see if I can't get this calcite specimen out. Man, that is really pretty too. Look at that. That is just, that is a nice one. All right, let's, uh, let's beat on this a little bit. I'm going to leave my camera on. Try not to hit my leg. 
you know, luckily if I hit my leg, it's it's mostly downhill back to the truck, so gravity will work with me. And yeah, I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna turn off the camera so uh, so I don't injure myself. All right, I got a lot of that matrix off, and uh, there you have it. There's some of the calcite. It goes back a little further, but I'm gonna throw this piece in the bag because it's actually really kind of pretty. I really like the look of that. So into the bag you go. And I want to work on this rock some more. All right, two good trailer bites from one spot. Can't beat that. I'm gonna hike over here through the brush. This would be a lot easier. There weren't so many leaves on the ground, but eh, what are you gonna do? It's that time of year. And I think I'm gonna check out this over here. Now, I've never really had luck finding anything in this kind of rock, but that could change. You break enough rocks, you're bound to find something. So let's carefully make our way over. And take a look here. Oh, it's really pretty with all this moss. Look at that. That's neat looking. Man, I like that. All right. Gonna check this area. If I find anything cool, I'll show you. Well, there's definitely signs of trilobite in this area. You can see where I worked a little bit. Chipped over there a little bit. But uh, I need a bigger hammer than what I got on me. So next time I come up here, I'm going to have to bring my sludge. But I want to check that entire edge through there. Knock some pieces off. Check some of that up there. That's that creek I was in in August, way down there. I'm not gonna walk it today. But what I am gonna do is come over here and keep checking this area where I found those two really nice ones earlier. So, hey, two trilobites right now. I'm happy, I can go home. They are not often that easy to find over here. There's been times where I've come out and you guys haven't even seen the video because I haven't found nothing. What do we got here? You know what? This looks like a good rock for busting. Let me break on this, see what we find. I told you guys I had a feeling about this rock. There's a trilobite butt right there. I don't know if it's going to be a complete trilobite, but uh, i going to work on it a little bit. Let's see if we can get it out. And check the rest of this rock too. There could be more in there. All right. Okay, you can see the trail bite is here. I'm gonna hit over here for a little bit. And then of course check every piece. Make sure there's no little ones that I missed. When it's almost like flint napping, you wanna hit the edge and pop off just little bits of rock. The trail bite will be in the rock. That's not a trail bite, that's actually some uh, old crinoid there. And then of course check the rock here, check the face you took off because sometimes you'll see an imprint which means you've knocked the trilobite off and you've lost it. So let's tap around this one. I don't think it's full, it looks like it's broke but we'll find out here in a second. Gentle taps, a little harder behind it. So long as I stay away from that, we're okay. Oh, oh, what do we got? The pieces, and all we got is a broken trilobite, but that's cool. I'll chip it out and take it. Maybe. I get to it. All right, I'm gonna turn off the camera, do some work on this, and uh, I'll be right back to you. All right, there it is. One trial of butt. Sadly, as you can see, he was in the process of rolling up, but that rock I yanked him out of 
it was already broken and weathered away so I mean if I spent a month I might find the rest of him scratch that if I spent a hundred years I might find the rest of him but I did see, do see a rock down there that I want to go check out so you can see most of the trilobites that I'm finding come out of this really yellowish stuff so let's go check that out I still got a little bit of time then uh, see if we can find some more trilobites and if not I'll see you back at the truck oh you guys I'm making my way back up to the vehicle and uh, man, I just found the prettiest piece of blue chert this is gonna come with me I want to check this out more once I get it cleaned up but anyhow let's make our way back Hopefully I see some cool trilobites in the scree pile. I thought about working with that rock, but nah. If I find anything good, I'll show you on camera. Otherwise, I'll see you back at the truck. We'll poop. There's another trilobite butt. So that's two good trilobites, two broken trilobites. I don't know why I set that up there. Maybe it had something in it I was looking at. Whatever, I'll throw it in the bag when I get home. I'll do a little uh, little working on it. I got one more piece I want to look at here real quick. And then uh, it'll be time for me to start making my way back. All right, guys, I'm back at the truck, and I am shooting this after video in the truck because, one, it's cold outside. Two, Hamilton doesn't want to sit in this cold outside, so I figured I'd do it now but here we are here's my first big one and then this one of course i'm gonna clean them out clean them off i should say they're already out but uh get this other rock off of them that's actually a pretty good size one uh, sorry about my thumb i should always wear gloves when you're doing this a little tri low butt and then those really nice pieces of uh calcite so oh sorry that was my phone but uh yeah these are awesome very happy with them that's uh that's mr wild kyle sending me a message uh got some big plans coming up in february but i won't go into that yet it'll uh it'll be about the time you might see this video i might put it up sooner but anyhow, guys, that was my trilobite bite hunt for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I hope I can get a like, share, and subscribe. I'm getting really close to that 1,000. I'm at 610 or something like that right now at the filming of this video. Um, I got something stupid planned for whenever I get up to 666. So it'll be pretty funny. But anyhow, as always, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you the next time I'm out hunting rocks. Until then, I'll see you later. Stay warm, it's gonna get cold.